Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Today, I'm going to be making a couple of rock fountain pedestals. Let's get started on today's video. Okay, so like usual, the uh, client asked if I could just design something that would work. He happens to have some uh, rock uh, fountains that are roughly the dimensions you see. They're 11 by 13 uh, by about 3 feet tall. Um, there's another one that's a little bit different. You can see there, 10, 10 inches by 13 and a half by about 3 feet tall as well. And uh, they're going to have you know, tubes run up through the center of them and water is going to come over the top and kind of uh, trickle down the side into a stone basin. And these stands are, uh, are, are going to support the fountains and there's going to be rock all around the outside where the water is going to disappear and be able to be pumped back up through. So basically that's what it is. It's quarter inch plate. We're going to have some tabs on the top, tabs on the bottom, access port. Yeah, all around to, to be able to put the pump in. All right, you can see this is the quarter inch plate. I had this sheared at my metal supply store. Sometimes, you know, it's just much more effective and efficient to have uh, it done for me that way. It, it, it doesn't cost that much more, but it's just that much faster rather than me cut it out in the plasma cutter. Uh, you know, this, uh, this works uh, much more efficiently for this particular project that I'm doing anyway. So the first thing is, <clears throat> is to get everything nice and square and plumb. You can see I'm using a fab block square in the back and some mag squares to hold everything in place. And we're going to be operating off the HCP Pro Pulse 220 MTS today. And I'm going to be running about 350 inches a minute. So I'm using 35 thousandths wire and the gas is 90-10. argon, 10% CO2. And that's just the gas of choice for me. Uh, 7525 is more common. A lot of people use that and it works just as well. All right, once I'm getting everything put together here, I'm just going to tack it on uh, all the corners all the way around and that's going to keep it from uh, wanting to deflect in before I start uh, putting more heat and more weld to it. And I just want to be sure everything is square and plumb. You know, I obtained a new saw here from Champion Cutting Tools. Uh, this is a 14-inch carbide cutting uh, cutting blade, and uh, I gotta say, you know, I've gone through all kinds of different blades over the last uh, few years, and you know, some of them good, some of them not so good. And I gotta say, this one right here is the best I've had so far. I probably could have put a couple hundred cuts through it, and uh, you know, it's uh, razor blade sharp still. And it just performs really well. Pretty happy with it. Now these are the brackets that I'm going to be using for the top and the sides. You can see right here, I'm, uh, this is the support for the open side. And I'm, I'm just giving it a little bit of room on the bottom there. I'm also going to put another one on the top. And it's going to leave the uh, access uh, port right there so they can uh, access the pump if they need to. And then these on the top are just some brackets to help stabilize it now I, I just need to point out that this these these fountains are a couple hundred pounds a piece and uh, they fit snugly right into this top of this and about three foot tall and they're perfectly flat on the bottom they have carved them that way and uh, they stand in there nice and secure this is just some added security and then there are going to be some rocks around it uh, the base you're not going to really see this is all going to be below grade so you know I, I, I understand that I'm going to get a lot of people say well hey that's not going to help secure that those things need to be taller well you know this is this is going to work just fine it's going to take actually it takes quite a bit for someone to push these things over they're not going anywhere they're going to be just fine where they are and uh, it's a tight fit inside here so I think it's going to be just fine also too the uh, the contractor is a painting contractor so um, I know a lot of guys are going to say, well, this is going to be underwater. You know, what are you going to do for rust? Well, you know, he's uh, got some special primer, special paint that he's going to be using and uh, get that all coated up. And, you know, it's not going to be 24-7 under the water. It's only going to be when uh, the pump is operating. 
So the idea with these things is uh, they're going to be sitting inside of a well on either side of a uh, outdoor fireplace. And uh, that that is the idea. And these rock fountains are going to be both on both sides of that fireplace. And these these um, pedestals are just to, to get it up off the ground, You'll uh, to get it up close to the top of the well. You'll see more of that towards the end of the video there. All right, so I got to bend some pieces at a 90 degree. This is for the base of the of the fountain pedestal. And, you know, <laughs> I had some problems uh, with my break right here. Uh, about a month ago or so, I had somebody come into the shop with an aluminum airplane propeller that was completely bent in half. And they asked me if I could try to straighten it some way. And they were going to use it for, I don't know, some yard art or a mailbox stand. I'm not certain what it was going to be used for. So... I tried to straighten it out, and I did. I got the thing straight, but in the process, I damaged my uh, my brake right here. It tweaked, and it was just a little bit too much for the old Harbor Freight. But uh, that's what I'm having a little bit. <laughs> I'm having a little problems here, um, keeping everything lined up. You know, I bought it for a different purpose anyway. I bought it for my uh, making my torch lead holders, but I found that it's been a key key tool here in the shop. I've been using it for all kinds of different things. All right, these are the tabs on the bottom. And uh, again, they're just three inches out. And you would be surprised how much three inches uh, makes that much more stable. You remember, there's going to be rocks on this. And uh, we're going to be uh, below water. So everything is uh, this not going to be mounted to the, to the bottom of the base. It's all waterproof. This is just to keep, just as to stabilize it. All right, with one out of the way, basically, uh, this is the smaller one. Uh, the reason why it's smaller is the fountain itself. One of the fountains is about four or five inches shorter than the other, and the idea is to keep both the, both the rocks uh, even uh, when they're in place. He didn't want to have one uh, shorter than the other. He wanted them to look like they were even. So basically, it's the same process here, just tacking everything together. Of course, the second one always goes together much faster than the first, but the idea is the same. You know, you might see me wearing my Black Stallion gloves right there. Um, yeah, I've been wearing Black Stallion apparel now for oh, three or four years, or even maybe even more, for as long as I can remember. They make a really good product. Uh, they have several different types of gloves for MIG, TIG, stick. They've got mechanic gloves and, and just all kinds of attire for welding. These particular ones here are the A61s. Uh, I switch around a lot. These ones are um, they're nice and lightweight. they got a longer cuff to them uh, and you know really flexible, durable. I just, uh, I just like using them. Yeah, it's a good product. All right, there's the top. We're just trying to get everything nice and squared up before I uh, do the finish welding. Just a couple beads inside, a couple beads outside. It's never going to go anywhere. You know, I'm not getting real particular with this either. You know, I'm not getting fancy with the welds. We're not welding them all the way out. You know, I, there's no need for that. Uh, this whole thing is going to be uh, below, you know, in a well. So you're not going to really see it. Uh, the purpose is just to hold everything together. And uh, this is there's not going to be a problem with this. So I didn't get real critical or fancy with any of the welding right here. We just wanted to be sure that it's going to do its job. Now you can see the access port on this one's a little bit smaller than the last one. I was a little worried that they weren't going to be able to get the pump inside there. But uh, there was no complaints about that. And it actually uh, said everything worked really well. One thing we did, we did make a little adjustment here. Um, once I had finished this these uh these two up he actually had uh taken them over and realized that uh, needed to get uh, a, a wire like a screen around the top side of it and uh, and we ended up doing that a little bit later this is the last part of the small one is just getting the tabs put on here again just this three inches out provides a lot of stability you know, these smaller projects, like I say, are, are the funnest to do. I, when I can get them up on my welding table and uh, build something, it, uh, it's, it's always good when, as long as it's not as heavy as it's been. I've had a lot of heavy projects lately, and these small little ones are pretty nice. All right, so there they all are, and that is what it looked like prior to building the screens on the top. Um, 
He did ask me to come back, like I said, and I built uh, some type of mesh screen around the very top side with a removable panel to access it. Uh, this is what they look like prior to putting the screen on uh, in the well there. And then uh, this is what they look like when it was all done. The fountains were on it. And then, of course, uh, the finished product with the rock and actually working, uh, the fountains working. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Check out my website, jimbosgarage.com. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.